Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Cindy, the LD Educator, and thank you for being here. The content in this video, it's a little bit different than what I normally do, but we are living in unprecedented times, right? So I am going to show you a little bit more of my um, little family. <music> And what I want to demonstrate is how easy we can integrate academic tasks and just things that you do at home so that your kids won't feel that they are being, I guess, bombarded with all of this paper and pencil. But there are things that you can do when cooking, when cleaning, to um, use those as an opportunity to really reinforce things that your kids have been learning in school. Remember, the most important thing to know is that your job is not to replace the schooling that your child was getting before this. A lot of people are calling this homeschool, but I feel like it watered down really good homeschooling programs. So you, we're not asking you to be a homeschool teacher's teacher. Um, this is really crisis schooling. We got into this point where all of our kids are at home with us and that right now we're responsible for the bulk of their education because of an unfortunate crisis. Um, but we don't want our kids to feel the trauma of all of that. We have to just get really creative in doing fun things that will help them to reinforce the skills that they learn so that they will not experience regression. Hello guys, right now we are about to make Rice Krispie Treats and we have all, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be so fun. We are, we're actually gonna make it more educational because like, you know how like school's been out and stuff and it has not been, you're not been, you're not really doing that much educational things. So we thought while we make it, we could have fun, but also practice counting for that little one and measurements for me. It's super easy to make Rice Krispie Treats. All you need is Rice Krispies, you're going to need some measuring tools. You're going to need a bowl. You're going to need like a place to cut, or you could just use a plate. You're going to need this wax paper, like a, a clear thing or something like this. And then the main thing is you're going to need marshmallows. You're going to need some butter. And you're going to need Rice Krispies, of course. <laughs> so let's go. Okay, hi guys. We are playing this bowl and that. As you can see, my kids love the camera. Oh my, where do they get that from? I don't know. Because believe it or not, I am intimidated by this thing. <laughs> I just happen to like making videos and giving lots of information to help families. Anyway, Miss Aubrey is nine years old and Miss Lucy is three. Kara's gonna help us with measuring our Rice Krispie treats. So we're gonna do eight and a half cups of Rice Krispie treats into this bowl, right? Eight and a half And cups. while we're doing that, what we're gonna do is, Arby's gonna help Daddy with the like, super sharp part. Yeah, and I We need one more. and a half sticks of butter, so Arby's gonna help me cut the and butter. I can cut it. Bowl. But it's frozen, so I might need to help you. You have to cut it at that four slip right there. How did you know that, Arby? Because technically, you can technically fraction. Well, you got to show them. They can't so see. technically, kind of like fractions made me think of. So all of it is kind of it's all a, and then technically, like what's half of eight? So technically, it's like saying five plus five is ten, like eight plus eight is sixteen. So like four plus four is eight. So we're gonna cut it right at the half mark. Okay. But if it was ten, it'd be five. So, yeah. so let's see. I might have to cut That's a sharp it. knife. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it for you because it's hard. Kids, when you make your rice krispie treats for the hard parts, make sure you get your parents. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't getting sued here. Uh. There we go. One and a half. So, so I put it on low. So this one, we'll put it about <laughs> mi middle. We'll put it about the middle of the way. That's okay, that's right. that? okay, stop. No, Can that's low. Right? We'll put it on and put them in here. Uh, everybody's already washed their hands, so we're good there. I want you to put those, put them inside, and then all you do is just wait. You just monitor them and let me know once they start to melt. Okay. But you, that's all right. Just sit it in there. Just take the other Can one. Can I cut just, this one? Now just open it and just lay it flat. We don't need to cut it, so just lay it flat. Don't lay it flat in there, okay? That's what you want to do. Lay it flat. Lucy, go back to Come back over here. We're going to get over here. I need you to help. So we're going to do eight and a half. Okay. All right, Lou. You ready to count for Daddy? Yeah. One. All right, I want you. We're going to do eight. So let's do Let's count. Go. No. 
Go. Scoop it in. Let me show, let me show you how to do it. Yes. Let's say one. Two. Okay, what number is this? Let's two. say two. No, two turn ish. it over. All right. Turn Let's it. Start three. Let's say three. Three. Four. Seven. 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 Come on, Morgan. Last one is. Eight. Can you count to eight for me? Count. Start at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good nine, job. Ten. Good job. So now we have a little bit of time to wait while the butter is melting and we'll be ready to get to the next step. And so now it's time for an edition of Dishing with Daddy and Daughters. Yeah. Trademark pending. So, <laughs> girls, tell the people what's been your favorite part of my, us my being part. home all day and all my night. I get to wait. Like, let's let's let Lucy go first. What's your my favorite part? My part is being home, not having school all day, with staying home all day. And yeah. So yeah. That's her favorite part. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did she just say that her favorite part is not going to school and staying home all day? She is three. You guys, pray for my baby that she develops a love for school and a love for learning. Yeah, good. Oh okay, um, so my favorite part is probably that, like, whenever... Seriously? Okay, so whenever we have school, it's not really, like, we're not always, like, learning new stuff. We're kind of going over because, like, it's hard to, like, teach something new and stuff while we're away. So like the cool thing is it's like easy and you just zip right through it. And the cool part is like I have my friend's number so we're always texting each other and calling each other and having fun together while we're away. Now I also have to give a shout out to my daughter's school. Like I truly appreciate how they are handling this whole um, crisis schooling. Um, they have committed not to really teach a whole lot of new things. Um, she has been introducing little things here and there. They have not been extremely difficult. Um, my daughter does have a decent amount of work, um, quality work that she has to do. Um, there, a lot of it is, uh, playing games and stuff on the computer and then her taking, pictures of her scores and sending them back in to her teacher. But as you can see, she doesn't feel stressed whatsoever. She's really excited about her different Zoom calls and her teacher, one of my lovelies, <laughs> and her teacher also gives a checklist um, at the beginning of the week so she can go and check off her work. So I truly appreciate that. What's your favorite part, Daddy? Probably um, Call of Duty. Getting... <laughs> what? Probably playing Call of Duty. Out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> what do you have to say Hashtag facts. <laughs> no, spending time with my family. Yeah, all right. But it's coming along pretty good. It's almost done there. The next step is adding the marshmallows. What? One tip for, for parents and kiddos out there doing this. Remember, oh once you start doing this, the stove is going to be a hot area. So you have to be very careful with what you touch if you're going to be close and helping, okay? He is a professional, everybody, I have to say that. He is a professional show. Okay, man. He is, he watches all these videos. He has the best technique. He, he has the best techniques. He is the best pour, at cooking. I'm going to let you pour the rice cream for this time for me. So Aubrey's going to help me with the marshmallows because she's got to be a little taller. Wait, it's not time yet. When it's time, but you can stand up and try to stay here. But don't remember, don't pull on that, okay? And don't touch the pot because it's hot. You got it? What are we doing? Not touching the pot, right? Not touching the pot because it's hot. Yeah, I'll tilt it over. We're gonna dump it all the way in. All right, good. Wait, you got to eat what I'm trying to. All right, all right. Let's do the other one. The hot butter is gonna melt the marshmallows, and so get your spatula. I like using these little spatulas. And what you do is you want to spin it around. All right, go ahead, Lou. Help me push. There we go. Like if one falls off, like in the air, can we eat it? Like how we usually do. Here. One. All right, Lucy, grab one. Arby, grab one. Daddy gets one. <laughs> All right. So now, if mom, you want to come in and get a close up shot of it. So you want to stir because the butter is going to start melting the marshmallows down. Uh -uh, it's hot. Don't we touch don't do care. that. We don't reach in. 
It smells so good, actually. It really does. You mix it around until the butter gets all melted down. And then after that is when we'll go and put the Rice Krispies in. But you want to make sure that you're kind of you're kind of just, just scooping from around. So it gives a chance to evenly kind of melt in between as you're going through and doing this. Now do we pour the Rice Krispies in? Yes. We're Yay. going to pour them in. Wait a minute. Okay, we're not pouring it in, Kevin. Okay, we're going to pour it in together this time. This is the, my favorite part. Okay. That sound is soothing. All right, so now I need y'all to slide back a little bit because Daddy's got to put a little elbow grease to it. You got to be like... So once you get to this part, you really need to scoop it because what you want to do is you want to get a good mix between your marshmallows and your Rice crispy. Let's back up. Arvin, take that plate and sit it on the table right here. Take the whole thing as it is. Oh, like this? Now you can grease this pan if you would like. Uh, you can put butter in there to keep it. I do these, I do the paper because it just, I found one trick online was talking about how easy it was to be able to get it up and everything yeah, stick. There. Aubrey, pick the whole thing up. Okay, Kara. Kara, we're coming over here. Come stand right here. We're gonna do it right here. We're gonna do it right here together. So the other thing you have to be careful of is because your pan is too hot, it'll stick. So you wanna get it around. And then what we're gonna do is, okay, back up for a second. Why did it melt? It is, let me see. It's just hot. I don't want y'all to touch that pan because the pan is still hot, okay? So now what we do is we're going to use this to kind of shake it, do it down. Hold on. Can I, do I remember when I did this for the break. I want to do this. I want to do this. I can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh. We can do it. Here, I'll be grab the handles and put it in the sink for me. Grab both handles. Just sit it on the side right there. This one? Uh, yeah, move that red plate because it's hot. Move the red plate underneath it. Good job, Lily Thank you. So what we're doing is we're just gonna smooth it down. Okay, Dada. Just try to make it as even as you can. Okay, Daddy. And so you might say, well, hey, I don't have a spatula at home. I think you probably can use maybe a big spoon or something like that to scoop it. The spatula helps because it kind of helps to just kind of make it a little even. Yes, we can try together. Can we do it? We're doing it now, right now. We're all doing it right now together. So no one gets favorite. Everybody does it together. And so here's the thing I would say too, for those who want to know a little bit of a variation here. All right, that's good. Everybody stop, everybody stop. All right, so if you want to know a little variation, here's one little trick here. So mom, can you come up a little bit higher? So one thing you can do here is if you want to do chocolate, say if you had Hershey's, Hershey's chocolate syrup or something like that, what you can do is you could pour a layer of chocolate syrup and just even it out and it'll be on one side of these whereas the other side won't have it. So that's one, one little tip that you might wanna do. At this part also, some people put a little, once we put the Rice Krispies in, some people like to put a little extra marshmallows in on top of that to get an extra little melt going. But for me, I found when you do it the way we did it, it, it gives the right balance of chewiness with the marshmallows as well as the Rice Krispies. So now, you know what we're gonna do, girls? Y'all know what we're gonna do? What? We're gonna put it in the fridge and we gotta let it cool. All right? Marshmallows at this time though, so. so all right. So Aubrey and Kara, can y'all can y'all carry this together to the fridge and let's put it in? Oh, let me find a space first. I forgot. Our fridge is full because the food store of quarantine. Hashtag quarantine life. All right, now girls, y'all can take it and y'all can put it in the fridge. Come on. Sit it in the fridge. It's still really good. Let me close the door. Right, we well, eat. So we will see y'all in a moment once it get cools down. Okay guys, it might take about 30 minutes to let it cool down in the fridge. So to keep track of the time, we are going to set a, 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 like a timer or a reminder on our Alexa. Hey Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Get the minute, turn to me, turn to me. Starting now. So now I'm going to take our Krispies out. Krispies. Price Krispie treats out. No one touched them, no one touched them. Daddy's gotta cut them. Actually, what I'm gonna do out of abundance of caution is I am going to actually put them on the counter and cut them and then I'll let the girls select their Rice Krispie treats, okay? Yes, and they can be. Uh, pro tip, <laughs> sometimes they can be a little thick trying to cut through them, so you wanna have yourself some space because you don't wanna either elbow somebody, elbow somebody or chop off uh, an arm or something like that. So now, special. I didn't wanna touch it, so excited.
Also, don't touch your face. I should not. I should stop touching my face. Jeremy's. It could have been baked a little bit more. It's already cooked enough. Get a paper towel, please. Tear and a half for me. Oh, this? Yeah. You good, Kara? Uh, I'm here, right here. Here we go. So there we have it. This is Dishing with Otters. Rice Krispie Treats. That's so delicious. So addition with Daddy and Daughters, Rice Krispie Treats, Lumpkin style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you go, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe and hit the button so you can always be notified, the bell, so you can always be notified whenever we have more videos to this channel. And get out there and tell us below, what are you cooking during this quarantine? So guys, as you can see, there were so many opportunities for learning just in making Rice Krispies. My daughters learned the importance of sanitizing your hands, <laughs> washing them. Um, Miss Lucy had the opportunity to count, although I think we kind of confused her because she is she solidly counts to 10 on her own. Um, we still might be working with like pointing and counting or whatever, but um, she's pretty good at it too. So I think it was more us with not being able to scoop everything out. Um, but we had an opportunity to work on fractions a little bit and measuring also. And so um, I'm sure if I really sit down and think about it, there are so many other things that we did do that we didn't put a magnifying glass on, but it is just so simple. Like even down to laundry, Lucy helps me to sort the colors. She knows that we have whites over here, light colors over here, dark colors over here. Um, so there are so many ways that you can continue to make sure that they are learning and it may not look like the paper and pencil, but it's just as effective and is probably a lot of what you need and what they need in this time so that you will not have a, a lot of anxiety and they won't either. All right, guys, that is all. If you did not check out the video that I did, I forget what I called it, but I'm going to link it here. Um, I was asked by an organization to answer two questions and I kind of gave what my feedback was and I think it could be helpful for you if you still find yourself in a situation where you are really unsure that you're feeling anxious or this whole doing school from home is a little bit overwhelming for you. All right, you guys be good. I hope things get back to <laughs> or goes to a new normal really quickly. All right, be good.